Hello and welcome to Cape Fox Corporation. I'm Chris Luchtefeld, CEO of Cape Fox. Let me show you around. Hi Harold. Hey Chris. We are an Alaskan Native Corporation formed to benefit the shareholders of the village of Saxman, Alaska. Cape Fox Corporation is approaching 50 years in business. We were formed following the 1971 congressional approval of the Alaskan Native Claims Settlement Act. We participate in the U.S. Small Business Administration's Small Business 8A program. We have multiple subsidiaries providing services to the U.S. federal government in areas such as IT and cybersecurity, professional services, healthcare services, as well as training services, marketing and event planning services, and logistical services. We've grown a lot over the years. It's truly an exciting time with great potential. Come on in, let me tell you about us. We have two different uh, pieces of business that we focus on. A is the commercial business, which is a tourism-based business in Ketchikan, Alaska, and in the native village of Saxman. Uh, the second piece of the business is federal contracting, uh, which is a, a significant portion of the business as well. And the company has really grown up over the years uh, supporting those two lines of business. We are well positioned for growth. We are, um, you know, constantly coming up with new, you know, offerings, broadening our solutions that we can provide to our customers, looking to build on our past successes and leverage those and to get into new areas. Um, we have created new companies that are growing and, and venturing into new markets where we haven't been before. The others chose the interdependent model of corporations, in fact, community development corporations, uh, where we, we cannot be complete unless we are functioning in our community, meeting our needs and help meeting the needs of others. The beauty of working for Alaska Native Corporation is you get to give to somebody. You get you you know who you are working for. It's not it's not a faceless shareholder organization like a big corporation with a bunch of shareholders in their stock. It's actual physical people who actually own shares by virtue of the fact that they're Alaska Natives. The ability to actually see those people, talk to them, let them know what we're doing in person. To me, that is absolutely priceless, and it's nice to work for something other than the almighty dollar. With that intent, the shareholders uh, are the descendants of the elders who have gone before. The shareholders come from a village in Ketchikan called the Saxman Village. They have a board, and that board of directors is made up of nine shareholders, and they speak on behalf of the shareholders. Our culture is amazing. We live it. We breathe it. We are it. And we need you guys to know that it's part of our everyday lives. It's not just money. It's not just getting dividends. We live our culture each and every day with our subsistence, our language, and our elders. And I want it known that without our elders, we wouldn't be here. You may note that we begin our meetings with prayer, and that's to acknowledge that we are here to serve others. And yes, we, we uh, argue over the issues, we debate, we battle, uh, but when we leave that room, we are to come out as family. You know, we're a family in terms of the organization, so we are literally a family in terms of the shareholder community in that we have a small shareholder body that is very closely related and it's a tight-knit uh, body of shareholders. At the same time, that really translates to our employees uh, on a day-to-day -day basis as well. So we really see the overall corporation as not just a family at the shareholder level, but as a family all the way through. But because our board is so active with us, we're able to understand where the company came from and appreciate it because when they come down they teach us they tell us about our culture they dance for us they they teach us songs they teach us the language and being involved causes commitment so the more that they let us in, be involved it makes us more committed to the organization Cape Fox Lodge is 72 rooms that we uh, just went through an extensive remodel inside and out. So we're excited and, and uh, really proud of that. It's rich in the Alaska Native culture. We have a museum on the second floor and we try to boast that through our rooms as well. 
Food's great. We offer wild game. We offer fresh seafood uh, right off the boats. We offer a few tours, uh, one of in the Saxman native village. They see it about a 12 and a half minute video. Explains a little bit about Saxman or where they come from. Then they go to the dancing. And then they go into the Tome Park. Hear uh, Tome stories on, from the driver guides. And then they go to the Carbon Center for about a 15 minute presentation. Um, we also offer a tour of our old historic cannery where we do a taste of Alaska, where you get to try different seafoods and things like that as you walk through an old Ruby cannery. And then we offer other, other things, you know, right out of the hotel. We can get you on a flight scene tour. We can get you on a Misty Fjords trip. Uh, we offer helicopters, all kinds of tours out of the front. We do own a coffee and a pastry shop. We have uh, one of their locations is here at the lodge. The other one is downtown on the docks, Sweet Mermaids. Uh, we offer fresh pastries daily, fresh coffee. We serve Raven Brew Coffee, which is actually roasted here in Ketchikan. And then we also own a burger and a shake stand down in Saxman. We do hand patty burgers and fries and shakes. And it's your little old school diner is what we call it. So get a chance to come and check it out. Uh, we have a very diverse group of businesses. My name is Mike Kirscher. I'm the president of Cape Fox Federal Integrators in Saxman One for the Cape Fox Corporation. I've got uh, several contracts, but most of our contracts involve remotely piloted aircraft, uh, squadron operation centers logistics. We build the operation centers for the National Guard uh, remotely piloted aircraft squadron operation centers, and we maintain those same centers. I'm the president of Cape Fox Professional Services, Eagle Health as well as concentric methods. And what we do is we do uh, professional administrative support services as well as health, provide health services. What I mean by that is we provide doctors, nurses, and ancillary providers. So it could be a physical therapist, physical therapist assistant, clinical psychologist for the government. It is very fulfilling to work at Cape Fox, again, because the, the mission of the various contracts that we have for our agencies and that supporting the military. It's wonderful to be part of, of programs that are you know, providing assistance to um, Army Reserve members, to promote motorcycle safety, to provide healthcare professionals. So you understand that what you're doing is not just a job, it's a career, it's an opportunity to help someone's life. We do a number of things to help the community uh, through the nonprofit and through our fundraisers that we do for different events and different, you know, organizations. Um, we live here, our shareholders live here, and so we're constantly coming up with new things to do and support the city with as well. They've been a big part in tours. They've uh, been working closely with Saxman to improve the parks, like the tribal house, uh, the landscaping uh, around the totem poles around the community. We're partnered with um, the Southeast Alaska Discovery Center and what we do is we sell cultural um, and learning items. Uh, we have really cool puzzles, we have um, a lot of books. It's a really amazing place to stop because not only the exhibits, but then you get to see a live carver. You get to see somebody working on native art. At the end of the year, we take all those funds from that nonprofit and we divvy them up with other nonprofits, kind of support the community and doing other things as well. Um, those include language training um, and language courses, as well as uh, crafts and other um, storytelling and other types of things. We have not too many that can speak fluent Clinket, so we need to teach our children because it will be lost. A lot of the younger generation I haven't seen make blankets, um, robes. Uh, the instruction on it is tedious. You don't make a robe with a sewing machine. You have to do everything by hand. Uh, we also sponsor an Easter egg hunt each year for the children in the native village of Saxman. Every Easter we give a donation, and these are donations from our employees because it, it matters to them. They want to feel like that they are being a part of it. So we have employees all over the country that's always giving back to the community, and we take pride in that. They do Habitat for Humanity. We do Toys for Tots. Our striving, our goal is to be interdependent. Therefore, it's not enough to take care of ourselves. We have to also care for others. Otherwise, our community is not healthy. I've never been at a place that has been so family 
an employee focus, never. It's wonderful to be part of a small company where there's so much visibility and awareness of the leadership. You're much more than a number. Uh, you're a valued member of the Kate Fox family. If you are looking for somewhere that you can grow and enjoy it while you're doing it, Kate Fox is definitely the home for you.